different reactions have been coming from different persons around the world since George Floyd was killed by some police. Apostle John C. Suleiman is the pastor in charge of Omega Fire Ministry, who is known to be a prophet and well respected. He normally shows concern to any issue that arises in different parts of the world and has recently reacted to the protests concerning George Floyd, who was killed by some policemen. Apostle John C. Suleiman revealed on a tweet that he condemns racism and killing of any form. He said he dislikes killing in Nigeria or any part of the world. He further questioned those protesting against the killing of blacks as he claims they still destroy the properties of blacks. According to Apostle Johnson Suleiman, protesting the killing of blacks and yet destroying the properties owned by blacks. That is what he tweeted on his Twitter page. So he's asking them question that now a black man was killed and yet you are destroying the properties of a black man. I don't know how he got to know whether those properties bonds, being bonds, belong to a black man. Whether he has done his findings, it's a different game entirely. Of course, I know a lot of people are really aware about what has been happening for some days or what happened some days back in the U.S. And that is what Apostle John C. Suleiman is reacting to. And because of the incident, he's not asking them questions. Meaning, does is there any sense in that? A black man was killed and a black man property was destroyed. And the question I'm asking and putting up to him, has he done investigation? How did he come to know that, yes, the property being burnt by these people, uh, you know, belongs to a black person? But let's hear what people are saying. That's my own humble question. But let's hear what the Nigerians are saying concerning the statements or concern or question of a Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Someone says, but you said Erufai will die since since then. No, no alarm. Okay, oh, this one is saying another thing. This one is saying something different. What is a Erufai is a matter here? Someone says, who is this a uncircumcised Philistines? <laughs> okay, let's leave all those people because they are, they are full of insults. Someone said the restaurant bond was a uh, uh, restaurant bond belonged to a white man. The white man said, and I quote, I don't care my property if my property was born, but justice must be saved. This was the white man's statement. Okay, you know, I was asking how Apostle Joseph Suleiman got to know that the property belonged to a black man, but somebody is saying that say, no, it belongs to a white man. Someone say 100 percent accurate. Wow, that's a great that is great and lovely. So, some people are really they are really confirming what this particular person who is commenting that it's the property is owned by a white person but johnson tell, uh, Suleiman is telling us that it belongs to a, a a black man someone says this is absurd we are protesting that the cop who murdered our brother to be prosecuted we started our protest the first and second day on the third day cop was arrested after being fired he was charged for third degree murder and manslaughter the same day, we burned buildings, loot goods in the state, and about three other state protests continue with violence and burning uh, stores and looting goods. What are you doing? Someone says, if you really understand the meaning of third degree murder, you will understand what they are fighting for. Okay, that is the madness in black humanity we are always dealing with. Fear your church, I'll be face your church business. Somebody is advising Suleiman here to face his church business and leave George, George Mata alone. How do you know the properties that were destroyed they will belong to the black people? Okay. Uh, this Suleiman or whatever your name is should mind your business. Okay. <laughs> okay. Something they worry you. Why are you talking to Suleiman like that? Uh, doesn't he uh, doesn't he have the right to to be heard? What is your problem? Why are you always on Johnson Suleiman? He has the right to ask questions. That is what somebody is asking somebody who is telling Suleiman to mind his business. This Suleiman, okay, you are not in your right sense, Pastor. Are you there or were you there? How come you are able to differentiate black or white properties in Nigeria? How did you know, Sabi Woli? If you torture your wife, you kick her, you deny her justice, 
you refuse to listen to her. You're grossly de degrade her so many instances and it becomes a culture. She could do anything. Uh, might break her own TV set, crush her own phone, touch her own house, maybe even commit suicide. It's important to address the cause of her reaction or imminent trouble. Otherwise, if people start finding no reason of living, they can do anything. I condemn violence. People can control themselves, but let's avoid starting problems of deliberately refusing to address them. To correct wrongs, choices have consequences. The language of deaf, of deaf people practicing racism is the protest which results in riots and loots. There is no peace without justice. Seek to stealing tight whoever you have prof you are you are prophets or fake pastor. Nature has forces which controls it. If what has been done in the USA is what is going to bring justice, let it prevail. Hmm. Maybe that restaurant is a the pastor's favorite eatery. Who knows? He, he travels uh, uh, frequently to the U.S. Don't you know? Okay, oh, I don't know. Those properties are insured. And how do you know that they are owned by blacks? In any crisis situations, there must be casualties. Hmm. Wow. A lot of people are making sense here. And some people are just there insulting other people. Well, well we always learn. We we'll definitely always learn. Because that's the question I put up that how did they... Wow, Apostle Johnson Suleiman got to know that uh, the, that property or those properties belong to uh, black people. So it's better destroy properties than destroy human life. Senseless protest, really. Why destroy and loot CNN property? The same news organization which has been in the front forefront of a unrelenting attack against Trump again was the latter by calling the Vandas talks, referring to the old black race. Or was it just a handy or convenient interpretation for the for the Dems? Okay, useless black people, they are thieves, not a protester. Okay. Okay, the apostle is used to getting money cheaply. He can be excused. He does he does not understand. Does the restaurant or the police station that was born belong to black? What is the prophet talking about? Black Americans are worse than white. Okay. When someone is dying in the hand of molestation or rape, you are there videoing nonsense video to praise yourself and crying more cry. Let's say if the lady was that saw the terrible situation of the guy that the policeman nets on his neck as she has seen the guy face being tortured was facing her, not the police. Could have went straight or gone straight to the police uh, man and pushed him or slapped him or the second police that video him might have saved life. There are some mistakes we do not we do make at times. Okay, okay. Hmm. Apostle Suleiman, stop this. Your notice me. Talk about the numerous problems <laughs> that are befalling <laughs> your nation, Nigeria, and leave America alone. The protesters are made up of black and white, and the shops looted in the process were from all sides. Okay, now you should face the Nigeria problem. He has the right to speak on anything. Of course, uh, you know, it, it's like uh, these days, uh, Suleiman is no longer speaking because he has spoken in the past a lot of atrocities. Wow, give it to him. The issue of this s he, he was talking and talking and talking, he was talking and talking. But all of a sudden, you know, there was a time the DSS, they invited him. You know, when he went to, is he a kitty or so? Since then, maybe they don't want the, the, the gentleman say, you better keep quiet. And maybe a lot of people, you know, that's one thing we, the problem we have in this country. Once they see that some people are really adamant, they are really, not really adamant, they are really firm, you know, in their, in their submission. And when they are really criticizing what is not, what is not good, they tend to, the government, what whatsoever, or the power that be, they try to, silence them and i believe since he went to this place um when dss invited him the man just stopped talking and you know just facing his business since uh, they don't allow him to speak in nigeria so he will speak uh, about other things happening in other countries because we cannot just uh, wish it away or we cannot just say oh or we should not even be economical with the truth Suleiman has been speaking has been speaking just like i said 
maybe a lot of things. A lot of water must have passed under the bridge that has even made him not to be speaking again before somebody will come and pick him. The same people will see, say, oh, what is your problem? Face your church. Why are you talking about a government? Why are you doing this and that? So that is just by the wayside. But let's hear your opinion concerning what Suleiman has said, that you are protesting the killing of blacks, yet destroying properties owned by blacks, says Johnson Suleiman. What do you think? Leave your comments below and let's have your take.